the students welcome back to class desk i'm nirmal vidyani back again with another video of computer science in our previous videos we've learned about the computer fundamentals and the user interface and today in this video i would like to introduce you about microsoft excel which is an application software and it comes along with the ms office suite the objectives of this video lesson are to learn the introduction to ms excel starting ms excel and creating a new worksheet okay let us learn the introduction to ms excel Microsoft Excel or MS Excel or such kind of application softwares were not available in PCs when it was introduced. So the computer was not popular those days. Initially, PCs were of interest primarily to the electronic hobbyists. PCs became popular when Dan Bricklin and Bob Frankston invented Visi Calc for Apple II in 1979. Visi Calc or the Visible Calculator known as the first electronic spreadsheet. With the arrival of Visi Calc, the works of accountants, bookkeepers, managers and all those who deals with numerical data become facile. This was a powerful tool which could save time and help avoid endless and brain numbing arithmetic and eliminate mathematical errors. What is electronic spreadsheet? Look at this spreadsheet. Can you see rows and columns in it? These vertical layers of cells are called columns and these horizontal layer of cells are known as rows. So let us conclude that a spreadsheet is made up of rows and columns. The intersection of rows and columns creates a cell. This is a cell. This is also a cell. And these are all cells. The cells are addressed in terms of row and column labels. For example, the Rows are addressed as 1, 2, 3, etc. And columns are addressed as A, B, C, etc. So, the address or cell reference of this cell is A1. And this cell is F14. This cell is A2. This cell is H2, etc. Okay, now we understand how to find the reference of a cell. Okay. Any data like numbers, text or formulae can be typed into a cell. The power of the spreadsheet lies in the fact that the cells can contain formulae which perform certain mathematical operations on the data in other cells and display the result in a new cell. For example, I wrote 1 in the cell A1 and I wrote 100 in the cell B1 and the cell C I typed the formula is equal to then open parenthesis then I selected the cell A1 then I typed a plus sign then I selected the cell B1. Then I closed the parenthesis. And I clicked on enter. Now can you see the value 101 came in the cell C. 100 plus 1 is equal to 101. Haven't you got the answer? So this is the way we work on formulas. So look here, this is the first row and this is the last row. This is the first column and this is the last column. Do you wonder how did 
I find out this so easily. Okay, I'll tell you. When you click on control button along with home in the keyboard, you'll be able to go to the first cell, the very first cell. Okay, and after that, I clicked on control along with right arrow. So, now I reached in the last column, right? Again, I clicked on control and left arrow. Now, I am in the same first cell, okay? So, in order to get, in order to go to the last row, I just clicked on control and down arrow. Is it that easy? Electronic spreadsheets can also be used for presenting the worksheet data in an impressive manner such as bar chart, pie chart, line graph, three dimensional chart and other visual, visual forms. I'll teach you how to make all these. Okay. The term spreadsheet and worksheet means one and the same but now over time the term spreadsheet has come to refer specifically to the software package and the term worksheet refers to the files that we create with spe spreadsheet software okay now we need to learn how to start an ms excel window ms excel or microsoft excel is a part of MS Office. To start working with Microsoft Excel, we should load Microsoft Office in Windows operating system. MS Excel is a powerful program included in the MS Office package. I already told you about that, right? It offers all the functions needed for business use including various financial and statistical functions and much more. If you want to start MS Excel, you need to follow this step. Click on start. Again, from start, you will get programs. And from programs, we need to select Microsoft Excel. Got it? By clicking on the Microsoft Excel option, from the program menu of start button we will enter into a new screen having the worksheet with grids of lines formula bar name box and the cell pointer residing at the cell a1 here a1 refers to the cell address of the current cell which is also known as cell reference the currently active cell can be identified by the cell pointer which is a rectangular box covering the cell. We can change the position of the cell pointer by clicking the mouse on the concerned cell or by using the arrow keys on the keyboard. The navigation keys are tab, home, page up, page down, etc. And after selecting the cell, we need to enter the data. If the data entered is a number, the program recognizes that this is a number and allows you to perform calculations on it. If the data entered is a word, the program recognizes that this is a label and it does not permit you to perform calculations on it. Shall we put it into practice? Alright, so I entered 9 plus 9 okay 9 plus 9 is equal to 18 right okay i entered 9 in this cell 9 in this cell and in the next cell i put a formula is equal to then i selected these cells but i selected the first cell then i clicked on plus sign in the keyboard and then i selected this cell and I simply entered okay now I got the answer 18 in this cell but let me convert one 
cell into a text okay i change this nine as n i n e nine so i didn't get the right answer here now here the computer recognized that the data which is on this cell is not a number so it didn't allow me to perform calculations here the excel file may contain more than one worksheet each worksheet is referred to as a page of workbook see this excel file has three worksheets worksheet number one sheet number two and sheet number three right okay if you want to change the um, name of this sheet you can even change the name i'm changing it as home i'm changing it as is first or the raw data i got it changed if you want to color it in different colors that also is possible so many options are possible in it do you want to convert the first sheet as the last sheet that also is possible okay you can even change the position of this sheets if you want to change this sheet if you want to copy or move this sheet to a new worksheet that also is possible any excel file by default will have three sheets in it after creating the worksheet the user may wish to save that file for future references you can even save this to do so click on save option from file menu a dialog box appears on the screen asking for the file name and location choose the location and write the exact file name as you wish then click on save okay and if you directly click on control yes then also you can save your file okay and you already saved this file now now look at this title bar you can find the name of this file okay all right if you want to save this file with another another name that also is possible just go to file click on save as then repeat the same procedure choose the location write the exact file name as you wish then click on save all the excel files are saved with file extension .xls if the user want to retrieve the file we should select file then click on open you choose the location where where you saved that file then click on the name of that file click on open or directly you can double click the file to open okay i just wanted to give you an introduction of ms excel through this video in our coming videos i will help you with learning ms excel in detail okay so let me wind up the session by giving you some points to remember number 1 visi calc the visible calculator was the first electronic spreadsheet Number 2 an electronic spreadsheet is a worksheet used in a computer to create and quickly perform what if analysis of interrelated columnar reports in workspaces point number 3 the cells are addressed in terms of the row and column labels point number 4 a spreadsheet is like a grid of cells with a programmable calculator attached to each cell point number 6 the term spreadsheet refers to the software packages while worksheets refers to the files that you create with spreadsheet software point number 6 electronic spreadsheets can also be used for presenting the worksheet data in an impressive manner such as bar chart pie chart line graph three dimensional charts and other 
visual forms i would like to wind up our video right now and i'll be back with more videos about excel in the upcoming days so until then please stay home stay healthy and stay safe thank you so much